can I can I can I chip in here? Can I chip in here? I can't. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it because at the end of the day, people are so many people. I know. I know for a reason. Listen to me. For a reason. We would like you to stop just using the word. Okay. My view of that, by the way, is the more that people use it, any color, the worse it is. Can I talk? Can I talk? This 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 reaction. Okay. This reaction of me using the N word is seen as more um, violent than the fact that we are actually oh, cool. And there's a big difference between exercising your freedom of speech and abusing your freedom of speech. And these people are abusing their freedom of speech. Yeah. You can't just go around calling, you know, targeting, especially black women in the media. I, just, I, was, I need, Andre, sorry, I just need to interrupt just because we, you've already used words I'm not, I'm not, not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. But you can't continuously target black my name's Monroe Bergdorf. I'm from London. I am a DJ and um, activist. I'm also transgender and I do a lot of work within the media as a spokesperson for the community. In the early stages of my transition, I noticed that there just wasn't any trans women in the media that I could relate to. I just decided to start speaking more about my experience. I just thought, if I can't relate to anybody that's in the media that's transgender, then hopefully someone that could relate to me, maybe. I definitely set out to empower girls like me. I think that um, our history definitely wasn't being told. Um, not many people know that it was trans women of colour that fought for gay rights, um, that started the Stonewall riots, which eventually led to um, the gay rights movement. Definitely wouldn't call myself a role model because I'm still finding myself like everyone else is still finding themselves, but I definitely like to think of myself as a role option and hopefully um, people can relate to what I've been through because it's not a smooth ride, but people can see their own ride in my ride. I've had so many disasters with foundation and it's taken me so long to find a foundation that just clicks with my skin. And when you find a foundation that just works, it's like an epiphany. It's great that L'Oreal are doing this now because diversity is hugely important to me. I mean, it's why I continue to hopefully break down barriers and do my bit to break down barriers. Makeup's definitely been a way of me reflecting how I feel inside. And it's, it's a direct expression of who I am. Going into a store and finding a makeup that 